Ukrainian and NATO intelligence claim that the political military leaders of Belarus are still getting ready for the full involvement in war on Russian side. In fact, official Minsk has been actively involved since the first days of the war. Russian fighter aircrafts and bombers have been taken off from Belarus airfields. Iskander missiles have been launched from Belarus polygons. Belarus is the territory where the Russians start stepping on to Ukrainian land. Lukashenko is already an active co-aggressor in this war. Some people ask whether the war will start. I have already answered this question. I will just add that it has been going on for a long time. However, still there are no soldiers with typical Belarusian accent on the territory of Ukraine. Even though the political experts have been expecting paratroopers from Brest and Vitebsk since the first days of the Russian invasion, there must have been a reason for them to run around the forest bordering with Ukraine during joint military exercises with Russia, Union Determination 2022. I love my motherland. I shoot well, food is good. I don't want to go on a vacation. Glory to the airborne forces. But something went wrong. While Russian army loses its fighting capacity, and according to CNN, has lost one-third of its military equipment and vehicles. In Bilavieshka Pusha, Belarusian paratroopers continue to wipe out dry ration lunches. So why does Lukashenko still not give his army a fire command? There are several answers. Let's start with the most obvious one. Yes, over the years of dictatorship, he's struggling with math. He has troubles counting votes. However, a number of 12,000 dead Russian soldiers is way more comprehensive to him than 3% of support in his own country. Because 12,000 soldiers is a quarter of all Belarusian armed forces. It is just impossible to hide this number of coffins. And we, the Belarusians, must not end up, excuse my military language, in shit. So military speaking, Lukashenko is afraid to end up in shit that his comrade Putin's army has already got themselves into. After all, Lukashenko understands that the Russian army does not have military experience. This experience is questionable because it is easy to go fighting against militants in Syria and Chechnya, but it's totally different to fight the regular army of Ukraine. Belarus army could only shoot cans at a shooting range. Understand that you're being used and your children are being used as cannon fodder. Another reason is that the cowardness of Lukashenko can only be compared to his trickery. Even after making a love confession to Kremlin, he's still trying to conquer Western countries' favor. His conversation with the president of France in the first days of the war proves this. Lukashenko understands that Russia will be saving itself from the harsh sanction noose around its neck. Belarus will be left alone with its problems.